Acetals, or also hemiacetals, can be converted to aldehydes or ketones and also alcohol molecules just by using a little bit of acid catalyst. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to predict the products of this particular type of reaction, an acetal in the presence of an acid. This is the same type of strategy that you would take if you were being asked a question like, hey, show me how to make this particular acetal. What aldehyde or ketone do you need? What alcohols do you need? So I'm just going to give you a, like a shortcut or tip on how to um, successfully solve these types of problems. The first thing that I've done here, all that I've done here, is just redrawn the acetal completely because I'm just going to kind of mark this structure up and take it apart. Now, before we get started on this, it's really important that we identify the carbon of the, the center of the acetal group. So what I'm looking for are the two oxygen atoms of the acetal. I think I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to find the two oxygen atoms of the acetal, and then I want to find the carbon atom that's in the middle of them. That's a super important carbon atom. And there's a lot of carbon atoms in these molecules, so we definitely need to find the correct carbon atom, and we need to like make a note of it because we're going to want to keep track of it in this reaction. This carbon atom, the one that's in between the two oxygen atoms, is going to become our carbon of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So that's why it's important, because we want to keep track of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate, uh, I'm going to break the, the portions of this molecule off of that carbon. And I'm going to just literally pull this molecule apart. I'm going to erase this bond. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here. I'm going to just take this molecule apart. So I'm separating it into three pieces, and I'm breaking the two carbon-oxygen single bonds to separate this molecule into three pieces. Now, I remember I told you that this carbon atom, this one that was very important to us, this is the carbon atom that is going to become part of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So we're going to add the carbon-oxygen double bond just like that, and this portion of the molecule is done. We're one-third of the way done. Um, this is, is a funny looking structure, you know, it's got some weird bond angles in the drawing, but that doesn't matter. This is accurate. So this is one of the three products of this reaction. Now, these other two pieces that I removed from the molecule, these are both the, the two alcohols that are used in this reaction. So what I have to do is modify these structures to make them alcohols. And the way that we're going to do that is by just simply adding that hydrogen to the end of the OH group. Um, these reactions are going to always produce either an aldehyde or a ketone, one or the other. It's always going to be something with carbon-oxygen double bond. And with an acetal, like what we just had right here, we are going to have an alcohol and we're going to have another alcohol, two alcohols. The alcohol is the molecule that has OH, and the aldehyde or ketone is the molecule that has the carbon-oxygen double bond. Let's try with another example right here. So we're gonna start by redrawing that original molecule so we can just kind of take it apart. And then the second step, we want to identify the two oxygen atoms of the acetal and the carbon that's in the middle of them. That's our important carbon. Now what we want to do is take the molecule apart at these bonds. So we want to break that acetal, completely break the acetal. Break it here, break it here. Break that whole molecule apart. So I'm going to take this piece away and let's erase those bonds. Make sure we don't have those bonds there. Take this piece away. Now we've got our three portions. Two of these portions are going to become the alcohols and one is going to become the aldehyde or ketone. Remember this carbon that we identified, that's our carbon-oxygen double bond. So this one makes a ketone. The other two portions are going to be our alcohols. So that means that we just need to add uh, hydrogen onto that oxygen to make them into our alcohols. That's it. That's not so bad. Now here's one that's I've mixed it up a little bit. This is a little trickier. This is a hemiacetal instead of an acetal, but we're just still going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take the same strategy. So we're going to redraw the hemiacetal. Oh, I lost a carbon there. Redraw the hemiacetal. Even though it's a hemiacetal, we're going to still follow all of the exact same steps. So first we want to find our two oxygen atoms, and we want to find the carbon in the middle. And then we want to break all of those bonds. So we're going to break both of the carbon-oxygen single bonds, 
and we're going to separate this molecule into three parts like that. That carbon, that super important carbon, that's a carbon-oxygen double bond. So there's our aldehyde. And then the other two are alcohols, kind of. We can think about them like alcohols. So this guy over here, we just need to add a hydrogen to the oxygen. And this guy over here, just add a hydrogen to the oxygen. Now this is water, obviously. This isn't an alcohol, but that it's still the correct product of the reaction. So again, three products. If you wanna put like plus signs in between them so they look more like a chemical equation, that's cool. Um, that's all there is to solving these problems.